create a tear sheet and how to add candidates to a tear sheet. So we're going to start out with our candidate, Taylor Swift. We've used her before on how to create a note and also how to create a task. So I think she'll work great for how to create a tear sheet and how to add candidates to a tear sheet. A tear sheet is a list of candidates that is created by the sourcing team. The sourcing team sees these candidates as a possible fit for a particular job and they create a tear sheet. That tear sheet then goes to the recruiter that will be working on that position. The recruiter can look over the candidates in that list and determine which candidates they want to submit to the job to actually start working those candidates and getting in contact with them. So let's start by getting Taylor on a tear sheet for a particular job that we're working. The first thing that we want to do in this process is make sure that Taylor's candidate status is actually set to tear sheet. There's a number of different options here under status. You see the drop down. There are the different options. We'll cover what some of these other ones mean later, but let's go to tear sheet because we're going to add her to a tear sheet. Then we're going to go up to the select an action drop down. Click on that, scroll down here, and you see it, add to tear sheet. So click on that, and it'll take us to the add to tear sheet screen. Now we have two options here. We can either look for a tear sheet that's already been created, or we can create a new tear sheet. Now let's check and see if this tear sheet's already there. We know the job number is 476. No results found. Um, we know that the firm is HK Architects. No results found, still nothing there. So I think it's safe to say at this point that this tear sheet doesn't exist yet and we're gonna have to create a new one. So we're going to want to use the tear sheet format that all the other tear sheets are named after to keep it organized and uniform. We start with the actual job number, then the name of the firm, HK Architects, then a line, and the location of the position, another line, and the actual job title. There you go. Underneath you'll see private here, and it's checked. If you leave that checked, that means only you will be able to see this tear sheet. It'll be tough to share this with somebody else on the recruiting team or on the sourcing team if it's private. So in this case, we're going to want to make it public. Uncheck that there, and then click Save. Now we're back to Taylor's profile. Let's go ahead and click Refresh. And once she's refreshed, you can scroll down Keep your eye on the right hand side of the screen here. You'll notice at the bottom, it indicates that Taylor has been added to the tear sheet for job number 476, HK Architects in New York. It's a project architect position. You can also check the tear sheet itself. By doing that, you can go to menu, click on that, go down to the home tab, and then tear sheet list. Now, because we named it with the same uniform title that we have here, we just scroll down to the job number, 476, open up the tear sheet here, and when it opens, you'll be able to see we have one candidate, and that's Taylor Swift right there. So now what you've done is you've actually created a tear sheet, and you've added a candidate to a tear sheet. Now you're ready to start finding candidates and creating tear sheets to get to your recruiting team. Good luck.